So we got a chance to speak with the superintendent recently and he was just saying that, you know what, we definitely are living in times of uncertainty, but one thing is for certain, especially at Three Rivers, education is a top priority. So he and the teachers there uh, underwent a training and they are ready to engage with their students virtually. When students are ready to learn, they learn. And um, it's our task to deliver that appropriately. And for this upcoming school year, that may mean virtually. And the teachers at Three Rivers Community Schools are ready for it. These are challenging times. And uh, I think we've done a great job of adopting a flexible mindset. The teachers at Three Rivers participated in a week-long training about how to teach using live and recorded videos. A lot of that training was how do you engage kids differently from having them in front of you face to face. Good morning, Three Rivers. And learning how to create small groups or help students one on one. All of it taught by Communication by Design, a company that specializes in virtual teaching and learning. So we talk about structures for um, individual meetings with students. You know, the importance to still speak with them on the phone if they can't connect in this way. I want to do some highlighting. Director Pete there. Grostick says they've trained at least 700 teachers and educators in June and July, and he says their main message is always engagement, especially for the younger kids. Because it's not, it's not just the, the, the teacher-student connection, but of course one of the big mi missing pieces for students during the shutdown was a deep, meaningful connection with peers. They also talked about the traditional elements of teaching, like how to build knowledge and cultivate skill set. Grostick says the teachers are really taking to it. I've been impressed with the resilience and fortitude of educators you know, across the state and beyond. He says it's all about coming up with tangible plans for every student to succeed, including those who may not have Internet access. I work with my district tech coordinator to broadcast our wireless access in every building out into the parking lots. So that parents and families can drive up and use the Wi-Fi. They've also got Chromebooks for the kids. Superintendent Moog says they don't know how this year will pan out, but they're ready for whatever may come. Success, um, it's, it's game on right now. So Mr. Moog was also saying that he had parents fill out a survey about how they want their kids to learn in the fall. He was thinking that, you know, they could have younger kids go in every day and wear masks, but the older kids, they would do a hybrid. But he also says that 100% virtual learning will be offered as well. In Kalamazoo, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News.